Hey guys, welcome back to Tim's Electronics Lab. And in today's video, I'm going to show you how to uh, create a uh, Google Calendar and Home Assistant powered uh, garden sprinkling system or timing computer, however you may call it. Uh, now the base is um, this device. This is a, a Gardena sprinkling computer. It controls the uh, yeah the sprinklers. Uh, let me take it apart so you can see the actual. Well, it's not a. Oh, I need a bigger screwdriver. So. This is basically a valve that goes between the um, uh, water line. Um, your outside tap and the water line that goes to the garden uh, watering system and the original device uh, looked like this this is the original thing but it's uh, a huge mess to set it up because if you want to change one thing you have to reprogram the whole thing uh, there you go this is the type number uh, so yeah basically take out that computer uh, and you can create your own thing this is the pump or the valve not the pump the valve and we will be controlling this uh, with an ESP8266 so yeah I only took it apart to show to you so screw it back together Now you need a couple of things for this, uh, of course this computer or a computer with the same valve. There may be some newer versions that are working too, um, but I'm not going to cover them in this tutorial. And I'm not sure if there are any other brands uh, that produce water solutions like uh, Gardena. Uh, but we've got this one right so you need that of course you need the computer uh, you need to have an ESP8266 and a 12 volt uh, AC to DC converter now I 3d printed a case around it because it looks cool um, but due to the Sun because it's in the Sun permanently uh, it has, has uh, misformed a bit um, so I need to make a new case so we have the opportunity to take it apart and I'm going to use knives for that because I don't have the new filament uh, ready the filament is still on its way and we might need it in upcoming days so this uh, device allows uh, uh, to be controlled uh, via now basically via MQTT but through Home Assistant and with the use of Google Calendar so everybody can set it up you can just make the calendar shared and everybody can basically um, yeah, schedule a planning for the watering of the garden which is very convenient all right try not to break it which is proving rather difficult I think ah there you go so the insides if I'm right we can just pull this out pull the whole thing outside of the box there you go oh wow that looks good that looks uh, fine actually so as I said you need a couple of things uh, one of them out of focus please ESP8266 
Uh, another thing is an, an H bridge. Now this is the L298N uh, dual motor H bridge driver. So yeah, the the H bridge driver. Um, yeah, it's it's not that difficult actually. And what's this? I think this is a voltage regulator for the for the for the. Let me check which. I think it goes from 12 to 5 to 3. Ah, it doesn't really matter. Uh, and of course, the case, a few uh, resistors, and a diode. Now, I've got the schematic here. I'll provide a link to the schematic in the description. But you basically need um, yeah, 8 bridge. 9 volt battery. Uh, well, I replaced it with a 12 volt uh, wall adapter, the valve, a 100 ohm resistor, and a 10 ohm resistor, and a diode. Now you can see everything down here the control wire, the diode, resistors, and they go to the, uh, to the plug at the other side. Now at first, uh, while I was creating this, uh, I was having a bit of an issue with the valve not opening and closing properly, but that was because of the connector that was not making a good connection. So what you basically want is the uh, out two wire, the A side, so in one and two controls out one and two. And you basically want the out two to be your, let me say it correctly, yeah, out two is the orange wire at the schematic in here. Yeah, the rest is uh, pretty simple. The out one wire is uh, the blue wire uh, and goes to the outer shell. And the black wire here, the orange one, goes to the, uh, to the inner thing of the connector. That's it basically. The challenge uh, was to get it to fit inside uh, of this thing because it's a rather big H driver but I managed to do it now when you connect it you need to press on it and let me connect the, uh, the power for you let me go to home assistant to the app and it's connected now there's a uh, when we go to the garden over here there's a water droplet and if you press it I think you might be able to hear it it activates and disactivates the valve pretty simple but it's very effective because this allows you to control the uh, garden uh, sprinkling system via home assistant and uh, we are uh, just about to move to the computer to set up a uh, calendar, Google Calendar based uh, schedule for the watering system. But this also allows you to place a sensor in the garden that will measure the uh, humidity of the, uh, of the soil and uh, that it allows you to activate the watering system based on that humidity. Now we don't have such a sensor because we have multiple zones in the garden and this basically turns on every zone. So it's a bit, it's not really necessary, uh, but you could do that using multiple of these pumps. Now of course you could connect uh, another one of these to out three and four, but uh, we don't have another one of these. It's just a single one. So uh, let's move to the computer now. So we're on the computer now. And you need to go to the uh, link down below. It provides a nice Home Assistant guide on how to import Google Calendar events into Home Assistant. And you need to click on a, a link. Uh, generate a client ID and client secret on Google Developers Console. And this takes you to this page. Um, it asks you to register your application for Google Calendar API in the Google API console. Now, uh, suppose you don't have a project 
uh, you need to create one, select create a project, then click continue. This will create a new project uh, that we will need later. API, there you go. This API is enabled. Now go to credentials. My project credentials. Which APIs are you using? Uh, now we need to click cancel and create credentials and then go OAuth client ID. And configure consent screen. We need to do that first. Now the application name. I suggest you just enter uh, Home Assistant here because this will not only give uh, Home Assistant access to your calendar but maybe also other things like uh, scripts or something. Uh, so enter a Home Assistant. Now since I have already got a Home Assistant uh, project name, I will do Home Assistant YouTube. All right. And you don't have to fill in anything else. So save. I'm very satisfied. Uh, all right, so that's cool. Application type other than um, this one test credentials. Click create. Now it's creating the whole things. Now here's your client ID and here's your client secret. Then go to your uh, home assistant configuration, enter nano. Uh, configuration.yaml and scroll down to the Google section over here. Very simple. Paste the client ID in the client ID, place the client secret in the client secret, click save, and you're done. Now go back to uh, your Google uh, developer console, click on library. Now here, search for Google Calendar API, click on it and enable the API. Well, it's already enabled. Bam, you're done. That's it. Now, what you need to do then is um, create a new calendar. So open up Google Calendar with the same account that you uh, enabled the developers uh, thing on. And click the three dots, uh, click add new calendar, create a name, YouTube test account. Uh, so click create. Now it's creating the calendar. Wait for it. YouTube test calendar has been created. Now we do LS, uh, Google calendars.yaml file should appear. Maybe only after you've restarted uh, Home Assistant, uh, your Google calendar will be added automatically. So I'm just going to restart Home Assistant here. Application complete, thank you. So they will be um, entered automatically in there for easy configuration. Uh, you don't need to really change them. Actually, you don't need to change anything in the Google calendars.jml file. Uh, so yeah, you can um, create a few um, filters for the calendar event names and such that it will only trigger when that and that uh, is present in the uh, title of the event name. And if we open up Home Assistant here, it's restarted. Cool. If we go to the devices, there. So the YouTube test calendar is there. Um, what you need to do now is go to your settings, automations and create two new automations, one for turning on and one for turning off. So the trigger is a state trigger. The entity is the calendar dot calendar name. In this case, it would be calendar dot YouTube test calendar. And from is off and to is on. 
then switch dot turn on because it's basically just a switch uh for the in a watering system save it test it and the off sequence is the same only then from on to off which dot turn off and the id and uh, then watering system that's all and if we take a look at the configuration.jml file because of course we need to configure the the thing and let me see where is it ah, over here there you go it's a mqtt switch um yeah it's i hope you already know how to configure mqtt switches it's basically the same as the son of only now it's connected to a watering system so that's all uh all right if i create a new event a youtube test calendar called test and it turns on at 12.57 in a few seconds. All right, so restart it, there you go. Message test, all day, fall, start time, end time. So now it's on, it's working, your calendar's working. Uh, my Google Cloud Console was um, not up to date, so it didn't trigger. So uh, yeah. That's it basically. I will link the uh, code down below. Um, and the code used for the for controlling the device. A certain sequence is needed at the N1 and N2 pins to properly turn on and off the valve. So I'll link down uh, the code below so you can just use it. Um, so if you enjoyed this tutorial, Please let me know down below and uh, also let me know if you find this really helpful and if you're using it. So thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Bye. Thanks for watching this video. I hope you've enjoyed it. If you did, please leave a like. Make sure to leave a comment down below. You can also share this video with your friends if you think they will like it too. See you next time.